Driving in New York is never going to be easy. To drive in New York City, you have to be patient. Congestion, that's not going away. You got traffic coming from this way, coming down, bus, you know what I'm saying? Transit is the lifeblood of this economy, of access to opportunity, to our job force. New Yorkers ride the subway, we take the buses, we walk, and sometimes we bike. Only about half of New York households own a car. So the focus really has to be on providing other options. Webster and East Fordham is one of the busiest intersections in the Bronx for drivers, for bus riders, for train passengers, and for pedestrians. If you could imagine almost any type of transportation, it's going through that intersection. So it's one of the first access points from the northern suburbs into Manhattan. It's a very busy and well-traveled intersection. You got a lot of buses over there, a lot of people. It's a very, very, very busy intersection. When it gets to be too dense, one of the problems that we run into is the competition between pedestrians and motor vehicles for the same urban space. In any competition, the car always wins. Speaking from a pedestrian standpoint, if you're not paying attention, you can get hurt on Because the pedestrian, they don't wait. You know, pedestrian go against the lights. They don't look. Most of the time now, the pedestrian, when they cross the street, they cross the street with a with cell phone testing. They just look like this. Just, just like this. They don't really care. They just keep stepping because it's always congested right down the corner. Everyone has a responsibility on the streets. Drivers, pedestrians, cyclists. So if you're driving a, a multi-ton vehicle, you have a lot more responsibility than somebody who's crossing the street. Bus ridership in New York City has been stagnant for uh, over a decade. It's primarily because they're stuck in the same traffic everyone else is. Up and down, east and west, along Fordham Road, is a bus service that hopes to be moving people more rapidly. What Select Bus Service tries to do is add dedicated space to the roadways to kind of clear a path for the buses. They've increased bus speeds by about 20%, and bus ridership on these routes has climbed after the implementation. It was very, very terrible before. Now they they're working on it. They try to get better. We do have pedestrian islands, and that's an improvement. And we are seeing improved crosswalks and improved lighting. It's been about rebalancing and redesignating our road space to better accommodate all the users of the road. It's all of these changes kind of layering on top of each other. We're talking about something that takes years. New ideas don't just get adopted um, very easily. There's a conservatism to the world, which is good and bad. The future of transportation in New York and in most cities isn't more automobile usage. We've really got to be able to find ways to get a lot of that traffic off the road. But it means we'd have to improve the, the connectivity of the public transport system and make it much more accessible. We have to use what limited space we have more efficiently and more effectively. Active communities become very important in turning problems into things that become policies, that become solutions. It takes a lot of action and a lot of dedication and a lot of time to put those changes into place to make a city that's friendlier and easier for pedestrians, for cyclists, for transit users.